Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. This is going to be a pretty short one. This is just going to be a demonstration of how to 100% get through the Axe Trap. I warn you, it is a really stupid strategy. So as you see here, I got the Mind Wipe Tonic and uh, some key things that we're going to need for this. Uh, you need the Mind Wipe Tonic, probably. Uh, you don't need any of these other skews, but Focal Chili is definitely helpful for the extra speed. And you definitely need the gear because it gives a 50% damage reduction. So what you're going to want to do... Okay, so each trap does about 180 damage, and with the gear, it only does 90 damage. And the maximum you can get hit by is 6 traps, so what you want to do is 90 times 6, which is uh, 540 health. And that is definitely a, quite a large quantity of health, but this is the best way to get through it 100% of the time. And then I usually get up to around 140 move speed. Uh, you can go higher, definitely, if you want to. But I also need to put some stats in the weight and some other stuff. I'm just going to use God constantly heal up here, but the main problem with this strategy is that, uh, sorry, the main drawback with the strategy, it's not really that big of a problem, but you do need to bring a lot of bed brews, which is not very good for uh, the newest dungeon, which has the Argentus Tus. So as you can see here, we move decently fast with tech armor. Uh, this works without tech armor, I'll show you that afterwards. Um, but what you're going to want to do here, I usually use an Enduro Stew because it gives me extra stamina and the beer is going to just destroy my stamina and then Fryer Curry, not you, these two aren't entirely necessary, you don't need them, but you do need this and so uh, this blurs your screen and makes it so that you can't regain stamina at all, but it does mean that you take half damage, so check this out. And you can just run through the trap, you see I didn't even get hit that time, but usually I'll get hit. So like, for example, if I get hit by this spike here, you can see how little damage it does. It does basically like 90 damage, uh, which is about two medical brews. And as you can see, I can kind of just go through the entire trap and not have to worry about anything. Um, if you don't want to use these uh, because you don't like how badly it destroys your stamina, I don't think you can drink stamina brews to restore it, which means you'll just have to be sitting here for a full three minutes. Yeah, if you don't want to use that, there is an alternative method, which I will showcase in a second here. Uh, you can also use a battle tartar for just a bit more damage reduction if you really want. Uh, but this is this is an okay strategy for um, getting through the traps. However, of course, you do have the, uh, the three minutes that you need to pass by with just terrible stamina. Okay, so the second strategy that you're gonna that you could use. This is a, uh, this one also has its drawbacks in that you basically have really low melee damage. You're gonna want to put about um, let me see here. You're gonna basically want to put around 900 uh, health on your character. So give me a second. Around the right thing is you want to put 85 points in, I think. Uh, but for this one, I can put a few. Yeah, there we go. This is about 85 points in, and then of course you can put stuff other things. I personally prefer to get my move speed up to about uh, 140. This is pretty decent build. Uh, typically I would do something for stamina because my stamina is still, it's, it's okay but it's not the best and I usually don't need the 200 weight. Uh, and so as you can see I have uh, 977 health which is a fair amount. And I'm going to enter this dungeon, and I'm going to go over to the extra up, and I will demonstrate how well the strategy works. Because uh, both of these strategies are nearly 100% effective, they're just really annoying to use, unfortunately. So for this one, the main drawback is that you're going to have to use a lot of medical brews. So for example, if I get hit by this spike here, it's going to do around 180 damage. Or in this case, around 200 damage, because of probably cold and stuff like that so uh, as you can see for just getting hit once I'd use five med brews so you might have to use up to 30 on these but um, this strategy is pretty effective because if you'll see here you can just go through and not have to worry about getting hit at all a lot of the times you'll make it through and not get hit but personally I would rather not risk it because you see every every single time you have to um, use more med brews. Generally, the faster you are, the better chance you'll have. 
So for example, if I uh, go like that, zoom all my all my brews, as you can see, I'm quite a bit faster. And if I go like this, I'm probably not going to get hit as often because of how these cycles work. And as you can see, I can just go through multiple of these at the same time, whereas normally you just kind of go through them and automatically die. So it's definitely better, but it's it's nowhere near a perfect strategy, but this is pretty much the best you can come up with. Uh, it's definitely better. If you want to just go like this, you can. As you can see, you have to get the spacing pretty correct. Like this. If you don't get the space incorrect, you just automatically die. Like that. So as you can see, I got hit once there. That is a fair strategy for getting through, but personally, I prefer the health strategy. Although, as you can see, my melee damage is just abysmal. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. So anyways, guys, that's been another episode of uh, doing random stuff in a dungeon that kind of works, but is really impractical. Uh, but is probably the best solution because these dungeons are terrible. Uh, it's a working title. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like uh, and subscribing to boost my already hyperinflated ego. Hooray! Alright, bye.